All right, y'all, it's your boy Jackson, D. Jackson, and we're back here for your schedule reveal for the Jags, man, for 2023, man. Hope y'all had a good little offseason. The draft was crazy, man, but they have released the schedule. And um, we got a, we got a good one, man. We got a good, decent schedule. And I think the Jags should be able to win the division with the schedule, you know what I mean? And even our out-of-division opponents are still going to be some really competitive and good games, and we get to watch a lot of good rookies coming up. You know what I mean? So, so let's get right into it, man. We got the uh, Colts starting out this this year, starting the game and their away game, which I'm here or there about it. I really don't like going away on on the first game of the season, but it is what it is. We can't control it. Um, we get to see Gardner Minshew, good old Gardner Minshew. But uh, we probably might get to see uh, Anthony Richardson, just depending on how they uh, training camp go and uh, how that starting position battle goes in the. Uh, all right, after the first game, the second game is going to be at home versus the Chiefs, the Super Bowl champion. Kansas City Chiefs is going to be a rough game for us, but hopefully we can, uh, we'll be hitting on all cylinders or some kind of way and uh, be able to compete in that game. Hopefully we lost to them twice last year by about 10 points, and I think the playoff game was under 10 points, so it should be a good game, but still I'm nervous about it. It's the second game of the year, don't really hold that much weight on it and they are the Super Bowl champions so we can't be too <laughs> too uh surprised that they if they woke up on us still a young team still rebuilding we just we found our quarterback last year third game is the Texans at home and then we're off to London for two weeks the Falcons and the Bills the Falcons game I'm looking forward to seeing B. John Robinson man I am I was very high on him in the draft and uh, I think he's going to be a special player when it all when it's all said and done. I'm curious to see what the Falcons quarterback looked like as well. I don't think he's that guy like he thinks he's that guy, but it is what it is. We're going to get to see him in London. All right, after the Falcons game, we got the Bills in London again in the UK overseas. I think they're playing in a different city the second game around, but uh, that's going to be a hell of a game. The, the, the game of two Josh Allen, uh, Trevor versus Josh Allen. They are still kind of stacked. They lost their wide receivers coach. I think he's over here with us now. Their wide receiver coach is with us now. Uh, they still got Diggs, and they're still a very good team. But uh, we're going to see how that game goes over the second game overseas for the Jags. And then we come back. The Colts are coming to our house October 15th. Then we got Saints at the Saints on Thursday night football. That's going to be a interesting game because I don't know who their quarterback is. I don't think Jameis is still starting, but I could be wrong. After that, we got the Steelers. That's the game I am going to try my best to be at. So if you see me out there in them Steelers streets, I want to see what Pittsburgh is all about, man. But after that, we got a bye. And then after the bye, we come home to the 49ers. They're always a tough out. And then uh, the Titans come to, come to Jacksonville, man. And then right before Thanksgiving, we go to Houston. And then Monday Night Football, December the 4th, we got the Bengals. Uh, they're coming to the city, man. Monday Night Football, that's going to be a hell of a game. It's going to be a beautiful game. Uh, December 10th, we go to Cleveland. And then the Ravens turn around and come back to us to see us again. I know they, they won some revenge for last year. We took, we took They feel like we took a win from them, but it was a tough fall game all the way. Uh, after the Ravens, we go down to Tampa just before Christmas. And New Year's Eve, the Panthers come to Jacksonville. Uh, and then after that, we got to go to Tennessee on January 6th, man. Uh, the, the New Year's Eve game I'm looking forward to because I want to see the number one overall pick. I want to see how he's playing, how he's progressed through the year. I liked him at Alabama. I just thought he was a little bit too slight. He was a little bit too small. I don't want to say he's not tall enough, but like he's just a lightly built guy. I want to see how the NFL treats him. You know what I mean? But he got all the talent in the world. He's able to fill the pocket. He has great pocket presence. And he has a hell of an arm. Um, but uh, that New Year's Eve game and then the Titans, man, it's going to be crazy in Nashville, either on the 6th or the 7th. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be right before the National Championship of college as well. So, And they got it to be determined as well. So we don't even know what time of day it's going to be, if it's going to be for the division or not, man. It's going to be a crazy, crazy game that week 18. This is a long season, man. This is a hell of a long season. But uh, that's our schedule release for this year. So let's go into these wins and losses and see what these Jaguars are going to do, what we predict for the wins and losses of this of this, this year. So let's keep everything equal and hope and pray that 
Trevor stays upright and stays healthy the entire year. Let's go through this schedule and see who we got as the W's and the L's for the season. Colts, first game of the year, I think that's going to be a dub. Chiefs, L, Texans, that's, that's a toss-up game for me, but right now they're, they're a W. Falcons, W. Bills, L. Colts, W. Saints, W. Steelers, W. Bye week. 49ers, L. Titans, W. I'm going to say we split with the Titans on the year, but that first one is a W because it's at home. Texans, we're going to split with the Texans because we can't get right. Until we can get right, I'm gonna get, <laughs> that's what we can sweep the whole season, the whole division. But uh, first one is a, a L because we're coming off the Titans, and that's going to be just a hard fall game. The Bengals, a L. The Browns, a W. Ravens, I think they get their revenge this year, L. The Bucks, W. Panthers, W. And the Titans at the end of the year in Tennessee, that is going to be an L. So if we're just not being a homer, not being a homer at all, just calling it like one of the guys at the big box, ESPN, CBS, if they were calling it straight up and just being realistic with themselves, the Giants go 10 to 7. But let's flip this thing on his head and, and put some little bit of sauce on it, some Duval County sauce on it. And let's go back over this schedule. Let's go back over to just the losses that I put for this year. And let's dig in a little bit deeper. Yeah, and we're going to work it back from the top. The Chiefs, we know that's probably going to be an L. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not even going to play around with, with uh, Andy Reid right now. I'm going to give him his props, give him his flowers. The Bills, I honestly think feel like that's a toss-up game. So let's say we do pull off the Bills game. Let's give that one a duck. The 49ers, I don't see a way we can beat them, even though I don't know who their quarterback is. But I've never seen the Jaguars do anything worth a darn against the 49ers. So I'm going to leave that one as an L. The Texans at Houston, I gave them an L in the first round. But let's say, hell, we pull it off and we get a W. The Bengals, that's a toss-up game. The Jaguars were pretty much, in my eyes, would have to play a flawless game. They would have to play a perfect game. Or they would have to get out to some type of dominant lead at the beginning and hold off Joe Burrow, because I feel like he's the truth. I've always felt that way about this kid. He's Joe Cool, Joe Smooth. He's always been that way even since his LSU days, and I don't see him no different in the league. So that's a toss-up game. I'm going to leave that still as an L. Uh, the Ravens, let's say the Jaguars just beat the Ravens, because Doug Peterson knows their Achilles heel. He gets them, and he understands that they're not really who they think they are as far as his talent level team, the talent level on his team, and the talent level of their team. Now, I gotta say, they did pick up some crazy additions in the offseason between Odell Beckham Jr. and the uh, wide receiver that they picked up. I can't remember his name right now, but uh, they got some speed on the outside for Lamar, so we're gonna have to see how their, their season plays out, but right now, let's flip it and put them in a dub. Last L I have on the on the list is the Titans, the last game. Let's say we killed them the whole year. Because really and truly, they don't have a quarterback. And Derrick Henry's getting long in the two. And we're getting younger in the uh, defensive side of the ball and on the offensive side of the ball. So who's to say? I mean, we do have Calvin Ridley. I'm going to take into account that Calvin Ridley is that guy. He's back, and he's even better than he was when he was with the Falcons. So let's say that with those numbers that we pick up three, four more Ws. So that that record will be a 14-3 and three year. And that, for sure, will take the division and possibly put us second best in the the whole AFC. Maybe, yeah, second best, because the Chiefs are going to do what they're going to do. They're going to be first. So let's say the Jags finish 14-3, second in the whole AFC, and home field advantage throughout the playoffs. That would be amazing, man. But hey, that is wishful thinking. That's my homer prediction for this year, man. 14 to 3 Jags. If we're calling it straight up, just no homerism, 10 to 7. 
and we're maybe fourth in the AFC. Or I thought we'd be a wild card at ten and seven. But at ten and seven, fourth in the in the AFC, we have to play the wild card guys. Um, I think that'll be a decent year. That'll be another successful year. Doug's second year, two playoff years in a row. And we can build on that. That's gonna be a good year, even if we pull up at ten and seven and playing third or fourth uh playoff spot in the AFC. I ain't mad at that. But hey man, that's it for me. I appreciate y'all sticking around for this long video. This is probably my longest video I put on YouTube, man. And I appreciate y'all. Hit the like button, man. Hit the like button. Share this on your, all your social medias. Hit us up on our social medias as well. Leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think about my predictions. Tell me which away game you think you want to go to and which one is going to be the most fun to go to, which city away game would be the funnest for you to go to. And, man, that's it for me. It's your boy Jackson, D. Jackson, man, and we gone.